the vote tally at first favored Nasser Allah, but then swung in favor of the incumbent after hold UPS in the count, fueling talk of irregularities. International concern has grown about the crisis in the poor coffee-producing nation of more than 9 million, which experienced a military-backed coup in 2009 and suffers from drug gangs and one of the world's highest murder rates. The delays have already led to violence, and observers fear they could risk undermining the eventual winner's legitimacy. One of the four magistrates on the Honduran Electoral Tribunal flagged serious doubts about the process on Thursday. Marcos Ramiro Lobo called for an independent external auditor to review the results, but was noncommittal on whether there was evidence of electoral fraud. David Matamoros, who chairs the Electoral Tribunal, on Thursday evening heeded calls from international election observers and Honduras' top business group, and said the tribunal would hand count some 1,031 outstanding ballots, or roughly 6% of the total, that had irregularities. That fresh count would be completed in up to two days, and would allow the tribunal to declare a definitive winner with 100% of ballots counted, Matamoros said. The tribunal's latest tally showed that with percent of ballots counted, Hernandez had secured percent of the vote, with Nasser Allah at percent. But a few hours later, Nasser Allah rejected the accord, saying his opponents were trying to rob him. He urged supporters to take to the streets to defend his triumph. They take us for idiots and want to steal our victory, said Nasser Allah, who heads a center-left coalition. Nasser Allah is one of Honduras' best-known faces and is backed by former President Manuel Zelaya, a leftist who was ousted in the 2009 coup after he proposed a referendum on his re-election. On Thursday, Nasrallah's coalition issued a statement signed by Zelaya, in which the former president asked for more transparency in the vote count, and said the coalition could not currently accept any decision issued by the tribunal. For me, it's still up in the air, he said. Protesters shot there were also reports of a police station and highway toll booth set alight in other parts of Honduras. We are going to keep protesting and won't let them steal this victory, said university student Josue Valadares, 20 as he battled with security forces, who were guarding a vote count center in Tegucigalpa. The sporadic way in which results have been published, and the reversal of Nasrallah's lead, have led the opposition to say Hernandez may have influenced the election tribunal, an allegation Hernandez denies. Opinion polls before the election indicated that Hernandez was favored to win. On Thursday, the OAS urged the tribunal to process all of the ballots before declaring a winner, as did a European Union election monitor. On Monday, the tribunal published more than half the results, showing Nasser Allah with a five-point lead, but then published nothing more for 36 hours. When the count started again, Hernandez began to catch Nasser Allah. The count has started and stopped ever since. The tribunal blamed a five-hour delay on Wednesday on computer glitches.